welcome back to my channel my name is Andrea hope you guys are just having a happy um, start of the week today is Monday um, I just currently just showed you guys like a little bit of my makeup routine in the morning excuse everything like you know as far as my tired face and everything like that but um, my daughter's breakfast no honestly her lunch so she's gonna have um, this is what she's having in her lunch today and she's a really like picky eater you know so she's having that for lunch today and then she has a little like a little bluey yogurt because they love bluey takes like a thermos of ice cold water because that is all my four-year-old will drink i think i should be happy about that but you know that's all she will drink is ice cold water so this is kind of like my morning routine. It is right now 7.30 in the morning. I'm just, um, like I said, lunch for her. And currently she's just like sitting on the couch. This weekend was really hard because... Hi, Noah. Hi. Say hi. Hi. This weekend was really hard because um, first off, my daughter was sick all last week. When I was filming videos for you guys, I basically was like dealing with a sick child. Um, and then I have two under the age of five. One is four, one is two. So they were both sick, now they feel better. Um, but then it caused some stomach issues in that one. So now she's kind of like telling me her stomach hurts, but she's okay because she's like I want to go to school I want to go to school so yeah this is pretty much how my morning goes I get up I put my makeup on um, I usually get up around five o'clock in the morning sometimes it's like 5 30 um, today I didn't get up until like 6 because um, it was daylight savings and I had a rough night so I didn't get up until 6 this morning um, I usually try to get up and work out uh, for at least an hour between 5 and 6 okay yeah so my daughter was just asking me about taking mac and cheese to school i'm like um not today um you can have it for dinner let's see how your stomach goes so anywho this is pretty much how my morning routine goes um i just drink water all throughout the morning i'm on my fit girl routine you know like i'm trying to get myself together because i'm getting older and um yeah i'm trying to do my best because a lot of people around me family members people who i went to school with not that i'm super old but you know like i'm in my late 30s and people are just like dropping like flies and are having health issues so i am just trying to be as healthy as possible and thanking god every day every single day that for the most part i'm okay i feel okay shoot i feel like i look okay you know i feel like she looks okay <laughs> i feel like i look okay i'm gonna really put like a jacket over this though you know can't be going body yaddy yaddy to the school okay y'all and i'm in the car is mondays hard for anybody else like mondays i swear they're like the hardest days of the week for me All right, this is the life of a mom. So, same day, just switched out my shirt. Hold on, you're gonna hear the fire truck. Okay, as I was saying, went home, tried to do some work, didn't happen. Noah's been at school, my daughter has been at school for like mm -hmm. three hours. Her, by not even 11.30, her, her school is uh, contacting me, basically telling me that she's not in the criteria, the criteria to be picked up, but, um, and they know she wasn't feeling good last week, but I need to, um, just telling me like it was like an illness check-in. And just know like moms whenever I don't know I just feel like we need a support group because we do so much 
And I feel like sometimes like I do this by myself on a day-to-day -day basis. And when it when I get into these times, I be wanting people to know just like not that people don't know, but some people in your life just to know how hectic it is. Like it's the middle, not even the middle of the day. I have to shoot back out to the school to go pick her up. I told them to just leave her off the schedule because there's no point in her going back tomorrow after all this time being sick last week, now being sick again on Monday, and it's not a fever anymore. They said it's, they said they checked. They said she's running a mild grade fever again. And... Um, <sighs> You know, I said just keep her off the schedule because at this point, this is going to be her second week not being able to be at school. I'm going to take her to the pediatrician now. Yeah, so I'm, I'm taking her to the pediatrician tomorrow and that's the plan for tomorrow. But it totally just kind of when you don't have any help, wipes everything out of your schedule like that, you know, you have to do. And it's okay because I can still get these things done. So I guess what I'll do is um, take you with me tomorrow morning. Um, again, just so, you know, this is my life. I put up, I, you know, videos about other stuff, but this is really like my life <laughs> right here. So I'm on my way to the school and then she's just gonna spend the rest of the day with me. went and grabbed her I have her I have so many things to do but um you know my kids are first priority on my list so she's back there she's kind of just as you can see sleeping crying I'm trying to figure out um in my head I know I can't but I have to take her to the doctors tomorrow okay so scratch tomorrow I just made her a doctor's appointment we're on our way to the doctors it's 1 of 12 15 12 30 almost 12 30 now I had to go get some mom juice from Dunkin Donuts I usually make my coffees myself but I'm okay with Dunkin Donuts their caramel macchiato I'm gonna just go in the house um, get you know let my husband know what's going on because he didn't go to his first job this morning um, he's feeling fine you know he just has a flexible schedule like that um, yeah and I'm gonna take her because I mean look at her like there's something going on she just woke up and said mommy I don't feel good so we're going to the doctors. We have a doctor's appointment for 3.15. And, um, that's where we're scheduled to be today. It's been an eventful Monday. Already. Happy Daylight Savings Day. <laughs> you sometimes want to just say my life but no it's not it's not that you know it's just you know the life of a mom of a mommy yeah we're going today today at 3 15 yeah because i don't want to push it back you know what i mean i don't even want to wait what time 3 15 <laughs> yeah 3 15 Now, are you doing okay? Yeah. Okay, guys, so we successfully got into the car. She seems to be feeling a little bit better, less lethargic, meaning, you know, tired and fatigued. Um, I'm still going to go ahead and take her to this doctor's appointment just because I don't want to be missing anything and I want to be better safe than sorry and just figure out, you know, what's wrong, if there's anything that I can do on my end. So we're basically on our way to the pediatrician. It's a sick visit. I'm um, gonna have both girls with me. 
Um, my husband is, you know, getting ready to go to work to his second job because he works two jobs. He's a scientist. Um, yeah. And we're on our way to the pediatrician. So we made it to the doctor's office. Here are the girls. Say hi, Noe. Hi. Say hi, Shia. Hi, girls. Say hi. Shasha. Say hi. 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 Okay, so yes, we're at the doctor's office. Noah says she's feeling her stomach hurts. So with her, what I'm dealing with is potty training. I felt like we had it down to a fine science. I don't know what it is, cause she got sick and then I think she got constipated. And I feel like we're just back at square one. So I don't know what's going on if she was de she can't be dehydrated because like she has this there's water in it all the time this is the only thing she drinks is cold water and she asks for it more than three times a day it's filled up like three or four times a day maybe even more okay let me get them because they see them occupied Exactly. I'm like, I don't know Mommy. what's because the only Mommy. place she goes is school. Mommy. Yeah, definitely. you know, if we Mommy. go to the she's usually at school when I go to the store, you yeah. know, I try to get it done while she's in school, Mommy. and usually I just get stuff delivered to the house, Mommy. right? So I'm like, I don't know, she it has to be her Mommy. school said something was going around, mm, okay. But not saying anything specifically, no. like somebody has COVID, somebody yeah. has stress. So, no. so it's just like me putting together a puzzle of what's no. wrong with my in particular no. child, you know? Yeah, it's too much. Yes, it's oh, a lot. It's a lot because I know we're doing everything. everything. She wears a mask to school every day and everything. Oh, wow. And I send like two masks for her. They switch them out. So I'm not saying you can't get sick with a mask, but I'm just saying I'm doing my part. I have Lysol. When they go upstairs and go to bed, I'm cleaning the house because they're kids and they have giant, you know. Yeah, you know like how this is yeah. And they still, you know, bring it back. Like, we try. Yeah, we try. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Can I sit through your mouth a little bit? Can you say ah? Pull your mask down, boo. And can you hold your tongue out? Ah. Let her do it. Uh, she's not going to hurt you. She's not going to hurt you. You want mommy to hold sit with you? Say hi. Shasha. Everywhere we go, she wants cookies. I don't have cookies. Okay guys, I hope you can hear me clearly. I just wanted to come and finish up um, just the rest of my day. So basically we're home from the doctors and you guys are my YouTube family, you know? So I see I have like new subscribers and I just wanna say hi and thank you. Thank you for supporting my channel. I just want to open a little bit of my life out to some people, things that are like super important to me, like my wigs, my family, my children, mommyhood, my fitness journey. Um, you'll hear my loud two-year-old in the back, you know, we all have kids and if we don't, y'all got nieces and nephews, you know how they could be. But anyway, um, so my four-year-old, um, if you look back in some of my other videos, you'll see like ABA therapy, speech therapy. She is on the spectrum, meaning she has been diagnosed with autism. She's mildly on the spectrum, super smart. Um, she is very verbal, um, but I did get her diagnosed when she was three. She's now four and a half. And um, 
she is in an ABA school, meaning that's applied behavior analysis, and she's in the best in our state. And um, so what happened, what the doctor basically told me was that she's constipated. I thought, and I was actually going to do a video basically saying that I thought we jumped through this hurdle because just last week she was pooping in the potty like independently and I'll just say bowel movements independently by herself and she surprised me and she just came to me and said mom you know I went poop poop in the potty fast forward the last week she got sick and that created constipation so it's like we're right back at square one where she's saying, mommy, I'm scared. I don't want to. And I get it because I think it's completely normal for a four-year-old. I know some people have it really good and their four-year-olds just go to the potty. But I've heard from quite a few people and I've also heard from her pediatrician that it's not abnormal for her to be holding her poop. So that's where we're at. She... Um, examined her she said she's very descended in the belly meaning she's very bloated in the belly and to start her on um x lax and she's already taken she's already taken marilax so x lax and marilax lots of water lots of fluids which i told you guys earlier in the video that all she drinks is water It's just like, what a day. This is part of my mommy life. Like, today is, like, this is not for the week at all being a mom. And when you have a child with disabilities, it's definitely for the strongest of the strongest. Because some people, like, can't handle this. I've been listening to her screaming and crying all day. And I just went upstairs and I have just been moving and grooving. Like I went and picked her up from school. I took her to a doctor's appointment. Um, she got a big Shein order. Um, I'll probably, you know, do a haul for her because she really is fashionable for a four-year-old. Um, I worked on some stuff on the computer, so was getting some work done and put them in the bath and got myself in the shower and I also just want to reiterate something that helps me out um, I have the grow with Joe app and I really do like working out with her she is somebody who keeps me relaxed like when I work out with her everything else like nothing else matters so I thank her you know to the highest power because she doesn't know how She's impacting my life as a mom when I'm under extreme stress sometimes. And like I said, I don't have a village. I don't have like a mom and a father. I mean, they're granted they're still alive, thank God, but they live in a completely different state than I do. Um, my father is five hours away. My mother is eight hours away from me. So it's like I don't have any family where I live so everything is on really myself because my husband works two jobs um he has a very flexible job with a flexible schedule but he does have to be very present and very attentive because he is um, a scientist he's a, a lab tech he works in a, a laboratory um every day except for the weekends Monday through Friday so everything is basically on myself so sometimes I'm under extreme stress and it's okay because I know that God is with me and I just want to tell all you new moms and moms that are out there especially I see some people that are going to become mommies and I know some people are mommies and want to be mommies or you know who knows we're all women um, and we all been around children, but, um, just know that you can have outlets that are healthy. Working out is my healthy outlet on the app. 
she has uh, meditations where you're like a podcast and meditations where you can let go and relax you can choose your meditation for that day of relaxing and letting go uh, tapping into your inner peace letting go of negative energy and what I do is when I'm having those really stressful days and I can't and I, or I don't have the ability to work out with her I make sure that I get enough rest and I also make sure that I listen and I meditate and I clear my mind like I'm starting off on a clean slate and I take a shower and then it's nighttime and then really honestly like it helps me sleep so well so anywho um that was basically the gist of like my day and how it goes there was so much more but not really I basically gave you guys like the gist of some of how my days go like a little bit <laughs> so um, thank you for watching this video. I appreciate all you guys. Thank you to all my new subscriber subscribers. Thank you to all my new subscribers. And remember to subscribe to my channel. And um, yeah, just remember, you know, if you're having a tough time as a mommy or as a woman, you can have healthy outlets because I know... We feel like we do it all. Like, literally, I think we do. So, just know there's healthy outlets. Um, bye, guys. I love you all. Remember to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.